Hey guys, it's Edible Fruits here, and today I'm coming with kind of a tutorial video. And a lot of people have been asking for this, a lot of my friends specifically have been asking for this, but it's how I record. I recently changed from DX Tori to OBS just because OBS right now, the way these settings I have are configured, literally zero lag. So let's go ahead and get into this. So, first thing when you install the program, I'll have a link in the description to the program. It's open broadcaster software. Make sure you run it as administrator and get it going. So what you're going to want to do is obviously when it first comes up, it's going to be pretty blank. I have some stuff set up. I don't really want to remove it and show you guys from the beginning because it took me a long time to set this up. But all right, let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing you want to do, click on settings and we're going to get started right here. Make sure your language is selected on whatever language you're going to use. I'm obviously English. Encoding. So this is the first part. Encoding is basically how your video is going to encode. So what you're going to want to do, I have these changed right now for my live stream settings, but I'm going to change them to my local recording settings. So uncheck use CBR. CBR is for high, it's mainly used for streaming. I don't use it now. So quality balance 10, make sure your max bit rate is on 5,000. Use custom buffer sizes checked, zero. So after you've done that, then you have to go to your audio encoding. How what you're gonna what's it gonna encode your audio at? Put it at AAC or MP3, whichever one you choose. You can experiment with them. I've experimented. AAC seems to be the one that works for me. So 192 or above, anything above is kind of pointless in my opinion, but 192 seems to work. And 44.1 hertz stereo is fine because that's what my mic records at. If you have a higher mic, put it at 48 hertz stereo. So Let's go down, make sure you always save and apply every time. Uh, this is my live stream stuff. Put it on file output only. Save it to a file somewhere. I have it, for some reason it's still called DXTory, but yeah. And then you can set hotkeys. I use Shift F9, a lot of people. You can choose whatever you want. Shift F9 works for me, just because I won't accidentally click it when I'm playing. So, let's move on to video. So we have, make sure your video adapter is the correct one. Make sure it's on custom resolution, whatever your resolution is on your computer. I'll show you how to check that really quick. Go to your control panel, appearance and per personalization, whatever it is. Adjust screen resolution and right here you'll see the correct resolution and then you type that in right here. So. What you're going to want to do is you can either, whatever you want to choose to record at, you can either press none, uh, make sure the dimensions are correct for 1080p, or you can do 720p. I'm going to use 1080p for myself. 30 FPS or 60 FPS, whichever one you want to record. If you're doing a lot of slow motion stuff, I would recommend 60 FPS, but 30 FPS works for me, does the job. So let's move on to audio. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Desktop audio device, make sure this is your speakers. Desktop, yeah. And then your microphone audio device, make sure this is your microphone. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Now down here, what you wanna do is after you have recorded and tested, if you are having, if your mic is too, too um, I guess, quiet or your speakers are too quiet, you obviously can adjust them right here. But if you have them all the way up and you wanna make them louder, you can, adjust this is a double it so definitely only go by like one at a time and then test it's gonna be a lot of experimentation if you're having that kind of problem so move on to advanced if you have a multi-threaded optimization processor which usually uh, most quad core processors have that so if you have a quad core processor go ahead and check this and process priority uh, this can be either be normal or high high it gives it a little more of a boost uh, so that's, that's that's what I use um, just ignore all this CPU preset this is important this is how much CPU recording is going to use up on your computer faster I use for streaming it's better quality but when you're doing this you can just go to super fast just click yes super fast is perfect I get zero frame drop yeah so pretty much that's really it you can check this this allows more FPS entry into your I guess uh, video settings so let's go ahead and click OK so that's pretty much it for this. Make sure these are looking good. You can preview your stream, make sure it's good. But let's go ahead and make a new scene. So this is going to basically show your game and I'll make a new scene It's showing your monitor as well. It's pretty simple. So add scene, I'm just gonna do video. And then you're gonna see right here sources. So you can click add. And if you wanna record your game, which is what I usually use this program for, Go to game capture, okay, 
and what you're going to do is click whatever that is whatever your game is in the refresh make sure you have started as administrator and you can find the game that you're going to use in here so once you've done that then you can literally click start streaming or your hotkey or whatever you set and it will record your game um, if you want to do your monitor if you want to record your screen I'm not recording my screen with this program right now I'm using Camtasia but what you can do is you can click monitor capture pretty self-explanatory make sure it's on the correct monitor preview Ta-da. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have. But if you have any questions or confusions about what I'm doing here, post in the comments below. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see some more content from me, remember to subscribe, like, and comment. And yeah, see you guys later. Have a nice day.